We know that ASM, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers ASM is a professional association that was founded as an engineering society focused on mechanical engineering in North America. ASM is today multidisciplinary and global. ASM codes and standards, publications, conferences, continuing education and professional development programs provide a foundation for advancing technical knowledge and a safer world. ASM is one of the oldest standards developing organizations in America. It produces approximately 600 codes and standards covering many technical areas, such as fasteners, plumbing fixtures, elevators, pipelines, and power plant systems and components. In this tour we will look into the areas in which ASM codes and standards are used. We will be visiting the technical areas in which ASM provides rules, requirements and guidelines in an alphabetical order. For automotive industry, ASM has standards developed for portable automotive lifting devices and service and maintenance products. For bioprocessing equipments, ASM provides standards that establish its requirements applicable to the design of your processing equipment. ASM currently has three standards namely BP, standard for your processing equipment, BPAP, Discoloration acceptance criteria for weld heat affected zones on electropolished 316 L tubing and BPMP discoloration acceptance criteria for weld heat affected zones on mechanically polished 316 L tubing. For boilers, the boiler and pressure vessel code BPVC is written to establish its rules of safety relating only to pressure integrity governing the construction of boilers pressure vessels, transport tanks, and nuclear components, and in-service inspection for pressure integrity of nuclear components and transport tanks. There exists an ASM standard QN-1, conformity assessment requirements specifying the requirements for certification and accreditation of organizations supplying products and or services that are intended to conform to the requirements of ASM standards. For controls to there exists an ASM standard titled CSDN-1, Controls and Safety Devices. For automatically fired boilers, which specifies safety requirements for the assembly, maintenance, and operation of controls and safety devices installed on automatically operated boilers directly fired with gas, oil, gas slash oil, or electricity. B20.1, Safety Standard for Conveyors and Related Equipment written for conveyors, provides safety standard for the design construction, installation, maintenance, operation, inspection and operation of conveyors and conveying systems. There are almost 35 standards dedicated for cranes and hoists. These standards are meant for the design, for the construction, installation, operation, inspection, and maintenance of jacks, cranes, monorails, derricks, hoists, hooks, slings, and cableways and specification standards for hoists or electricity. These standards for cranes and hoists starts from ASM B30.1 to B30.29. Further standards ranges from BTH1 to HST6 which lays the performance standard for electric chain hoists, PAN, chain manually operated chain hoists, manually lever operated chain hoists, overhead electric wire rope hoists, air chain hoists, air wire rope hoists. Further, there are five standard on dimension which are meant for limits and fits, preferred sizes, and pipe dimensions. ASM also provides various standards on drawings and terminology, which illustrates the requirement for drafting, abbreviations, letter symbols, graphs, and charts. Safety code and standards on elevators and escalators are written for the design, construction, installation, operation, inspection, testing, maintenance, alteration, and repair of elevators, dumb waiters, escalators, moving walks, material lifts, wheelchair lifts and inclined stairway chair lifts. Standards and accompanying guidance documents for conducting and reporting the results of an energy assessment that considers the entire system, from energy inputs to the work performed as the result of these inputs are basically the standards on energy assessment. Altogether eight such standards exists which provides energy assessment for process heating systems, pumping systems, compressed air systems, steam and steam systems from year 1 to year 4. Guidance for the same are also provided from year 1G to year 4G. 
as Mo also provides various standards for fasteners like bolts, nuts, rivets, washers, keys, e bolts, pins, and retaining rings. Single standard on fitness for service is meant to provide standards providing guidance for conducting fitness for service FFS assessments using methodologies specifically prepared for pressurized equipment and performed to demonstrate the structural integrity of an in-service component that may contain a flaw or damage. Standard for dimensions of standard blanks and components for gauge blanks are furnished in B47.1. In order to standardize its principal features of gauges, two standards namely pressure gauges and gauge attachments covered in B40.100 and thermometers, direct reading and remote reading in B40.200 is provided. There exist five ASM standards for keys and keys eats. A90.1 Safety standard for belt man lifts is the lone ASM standard dedicated for man lifts. Various measurement standards for dimensional metrology and calibration of instruments are also written by ASM. There also exists an ASM standard on metric system, which guides for familiarization with the international system C of units. Various ASM nuclear codes and standards applicable to nuclear facilities and technology are available. These nuclear codes and standards are intended for manufacturers, constructors, users, and others concerned with the design, fabrication, assembly, erection, examination, inspection, and testing of nuclear facility applications, plus all potential governing entities. ASM currently provides three standard on operator qualification and certification. These standards are QF01, standard for the qualification and certification of high capacity fossil fuel fired plant operators, QH01, Standard for the qualification and certification of hazardous waste incinerator operators and finally QR01, standard for the qualification and certification of resource recovery facility operators. Various performance test codes are printed by ASM which aids in aid in determining the performance of specific mechanical equipment that is designed to meet specified criteria for performance and operability. The codes provide requirements for instrumentation test procedure, test environment, and interpretation of test results. For piping, ASM provides various codes and standards. These codes and standards are intended for for manufacturers, designers, operators and owners of piping systems including, but not limited to, steam, water, oil, gas, and air services, plus all potential governing entities. Similarly for plumbing, Standards for plumbing equipment are printed by ASM. Standards that address common issues and technologies related to post-construction activities. More specifically, the development of product-specific codes and standards addressing issues encountered after initial construction are also issued by ASM. Currently there are three such standards namely PCC1, 2 and 3. For powdered platforms, Standards that establish safety requirements for powered platforms are printed. A120. One is that standard and it provides safety requirements for powered platforms and traveling ladders and gantries for building maintenance. An entire set of ASM boiler and pressure vessel code, comprising of 12 parts are also published by ASM. Other than AP, ASM2 provides standards on pumps for chemical process service. Two standards for rail transit vehicles, that is RT1 and RT2 are ASM prints and these standards cover safety, functional, performance, and operability requirements for rail transit vehicles, mechanical systems and components, and structural requirements. A standard on reinforced thermoset plastic corrosion resistant equipment is also printed by ASMA which lays down the rules for safety governing the design, fabrication, and inspection during construction of reinforced thermoset plastic equipment. There are various ASM standards which provides dimensional data of screws ranging from B1.1 to 1.30. SDS1 is a ASM standard on steel stacks that specifies design, construction, and recommendations for inspection. Standard for classification of surfaces are provided in ASM standard B46.1. 
Various standards on standards for machine tools, consumable tools, and hand tools are also provided by ASM. TDPN-1, TDPN-2 and B133.8 are the ASM written standards that cover procurement and water damage to turbines. Again, various standards for valves, fittings, flanges, gaskets are printed by ASM for pressure temperature ratings, materials, dimensions, tolerances, markings, and testing of valves, fittings, flanges, and gaskets and is widely followed. Finally, the last of the alphabetical standards and codes printed by ASM is standards and guidelines for verification and validation. This illustrates processes by which evidence is generated, and credibility is thereby established, that computer models have adequate accuracy and level of detail for their intended use. Let me once again remind you that to learn, understand and test your skills on the process piping code, you can download the Android application ASMB31.3 Process Piping Quiz. This application is not only for chapter-wise quizzes, but also provides the elaborate answers to various process piping related questions. Understanding and application of the concepts, rules and requirements ASMB31.3 Process Piping Code is a must in process piping. With the regular practice of these questions provided in this quiz app makes you well versed with the process piping code.